All right, Rich Van Tassel here. Absolutely had to do this video. It's 3.40 on the East Coast right now. I just had on television NFL Live. Um, it's actually playing right now. They got the reporter Britt McHenry. She is doing a report right now. Obviously, I have it on mute um, because I can't do the video with it on. But she was just interviewing a guy about Cam Newton and... Uh, you know, certain letters that have been written to editors about his celebrations and stuff. And then they flash back to the, the panel discussion. Trey Wingo, uh, I believe it was Antonio Pierce, Jerome Bettis, and Mark Brunel were the three on the panel. And Trey Wingo, it, it's just ridiculous. That's why I had to do this video. He's talking about, you know, obviously he's putting out racial... Uh, undertones of why people do things he's not coming out and directly saying it but we know he's talking about how why does things bother uh people when cam newton celebrates touchdowns this that and the other thing and trey wingo is such a jerk off i really I, he just came back on the screen right now uh it really just infuriates me to look at him but he's talking about you know it doesn't bother you when rob gronkowski spikes a football or when travis kelsey does his dance or tom brady you know uh talks on the sideline because we know I mean for those of you who don't know Tom Brady can be very uh ferocious to his teammates I personally like it when Tom Brady does that I think uh it reminds me a little bit of Troy Aikman some of the things I've seen in the past but this is the same Trey Wingo who would never ever give Terrell Owens a pass on anything he ever did when he was playing uh and it just shows the hypocrisy of ESPN and no one would ever pick up on this and I just happen to have it on right now. That's why I'm doing this video. It literally just happened. Now they got confetti falling. Um, and it's showing Peyton Manning. And they're probably talking about him riding off in the sunset. But I'm truly disgusted to have watched this right now. Where Trey Wingo is is talking about. And, and you know what? Just come out and say that it's racist. Don't give the. Or you think it's racist. Um, personally, I do think it has something to do with the fact that Cam Newton's um, black. When he does the things. I don't know. I mean, I've always really liked Cam Newton. Um, it was starting to rub me the wrong way on Thanksgiving when they were pounding the Cowboys. Now, granted, that's because I'm a Cowboys fan. Um, I don't know. It, it, does it bother me that much when he does it? I really can't tell you because that's the only time I ever really noticed. And I'm certain that was the reason why it was upsetting me. is because I like the Cowboys and they were knocking the piss out of the Cowboys in that game. And uh, obviously his dancing at that time was going to upset me, but... Your Trey Wingo, just come out and say it, that, you know, you think it has to do with the fact that Cam Newton's black and these other people were. But furthermore, Trey Wingo is the last person who should be saying any of this because when it was Terrell Owens, he would be all over him, just would anyone else at ESPN because Terrell Owens could do no right. You know, Terrell Owens is selfish, blah, blah, when, you know, he's celebrating in the end zone. I mean, Terrell Owens did do a lot of selfish things, don't get me wrong, but uh, don't talk about you know, touchdown celebrations because that's the main thing that ever really got Terrell Owens off on the wrong foot. If you remember, it was that Monday night football game. I mean, God, that had to be almost 15 years ago now when you think about it. But it was really that Monday night football game when he took, that, when he took the Sharpie out of his uh, pants and signed a football that he gave to a disabled kid. Okay, that's what Cam, do <laughs> that's what Cam Newton does. Or I actually I shouldn't say because I don't know that the kid was disabled, but that's why Terrell Owens was taking uh, that sharpie out to do that to sign that football. He was giving it to a kid. Now that's what Cam Newton. That is his touchdown thing. Is most of the time is he takes footballs and give it to kids. Uh, I didn't have a problem when Terrell Owens does it, and I don't have a problem when Cam Newton does it. But Trey Wingo should not have a problem with either because this is the last person who should be saying anything. And I know I've reiterated that, but it's really just unfortunate, and I had to do that video right now. So hopefully you all watch it, and you can get my a little rant on that, because it just shows the double standard of ESPN. And for those of you who watch ESPN a lot, maybe you can start to pick up on it and pay attention. Maybe some of you were even watching that show as it happened. But uh, I hope you all watch, and then maybe you can be drawn more to my opinion instead of ESPN's, because I'll give it to you straight. And... Uh, I may have, you know, biases here and there. I'll try to stay away from them, but I'm certainly not going to ever give you double standards like that. And that's pretty disrespectful from ESPN. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you later in the week.